Bobby Capsidis and his wife Megan bought a house in 2009 for Bobby's mother. Being an aircraft mechanic, Bobby always had a thing for repairing stuff, and this habit of his was well applied in his house as well. In their new house, the couple had decided to renovate the kitchen as its condition was quite tarnished. The kitchen's condition was deteriorating day by day, so the couple teamed up and prepared for a DIY renovation project. Bobby had his hands on the tools, while Megan had hers on the camera. During the time of the renovation, neither Bobby nor Megan had the slightest clue of what surprises awaited them in the future. On social media, Megan regularly used to post updates about the project. She posted a photo of the progress along with the caption, some before and during pictures, just to show that we haven't burnt the palace down yet. The house was getting a renovation for the first time in almost a decade, so it was important to document the progress. The kitchen, particularly, had its ceiling come off bit by bit due to water leakage. Bobby decided it would be best to have the entire thing brought down. The couple anticipated the total time this ceiling would take to be around a day or two max. Bobby started on the first day with the ceiling. He began knocking off the solid parts until midnight came. She slept knowing that her husband is working hard for the betterment of the house, which was a comforting thought for her. To speed up the process, he grabbed a crowbar and made a long tear in the ceiling. It was at this time that something fell out of the crack and hit Bobby's head. When he looked at it laying on the floor, he saw that it was an old leather purse of brown color. Bobby picked the purse up and started examining it. It wasn't that different from an average leather purse, except that Bobby noticed an alligator's body as a design on it. Several questions started popping into Bobby's head, so he thought it would be best to wake his wife up and show the purse to her. So Bobby woke up Megan and showed her what fell on his head. Due to the odd alligator design on the purse, the couple was almost convinced something was strange about this purse. Eventually, their curiosity outweighed their fear, and they opened the leather purse. When they opened the leather purse, it was empty. As surprising as this was, it still didn't explain what a purse like this was doing in the kitchen ceiling. The emptiness of this purse only raised more question marks. Assembling the pieces of the puzzle together, the couple came to the conclusion that the purse itself would be valuable, which is why it was hidden. To answer these questions, the couple decided to find their way into the attic, which was above the kitchen. The ceiling had to come down anyway, so it made sense to carve a bigger tear into it. Once a large portion of the ceiling came down, Bobby and Megan saw a dark black opening into the attic. It almost looked like a portal had opened in front of them. Their decision of looking for more turned out to be right. My husband decided he wanted to tear it down at 8 o'clock in the evening. And when he did, that's when everything started falling out of the ceiling. By this point, things were dropping down on the floor with the rest of the debris, as if they were always a part of the kitchen ceiling. During the tearing of the ceiling process, Bobby had come across a note that was purposefully hidden in there. Of course, nobody would hide a note from the world there, unless there was a special reason behind it. Bobby and Megan were in for some more surprises as this time. Another object fell and hit Bobby on the head. It was revealed to be a wedding album. Not paying heed to the dust on it, they opened the album right away and started going through the pictures in it. Just seeing something nostalgic like that. I have no idea why they keep it up in the attic. The album didn't contain anything other than 50 wedding photos. Megan was astonished to see these photos and thought she needs to meet these people. The next day, he went back up in there and he found what would have been the parents' little small version of the sing album. Bobby knew nothing about the owners when he purchased this house for his mother in 2009. However, he was still positive that this wedding album was theirs. It still didn't explain the mystery behind why they chose to hide it there. In the midst of all of this, Bobby and Megan finally found a major clue. Bobby and Megan now had access to the identities of the bride and groom. The groom was Joseph Garguillo, while the bride was Marguerite. It said September 14 on the date with the address for the wedding was in New York. They found out that the wedding celebration happened at Street Thomas Apostle Roman Catholic Church which is located on 87th Street and 88th Avenue in Woodhaven, Queens, New York. Despite having no clue of the whereabouts of the couple, Megan felt a connection between herself and them. It was like these photos had provided a lens for her to peek into the wedding of a couple, which may or may not even be alive today. 
This increased her curiosity and pushed her into finding more information about them. Maiden stated, I want to find the family. It's easier today. We have the digital age where we can just call the photographer and have him send it over the internet. She logged into Facebook and let everyone in on the discovery her husband had made in their house. As expected, it didn't take too long for the post to reach the masses. Megan waited in the hopes of getting a lead for the married couple. It even got viral enough to attract Fox and ABC News, but Megan was still yet to get a proper lead on Joseph and Marguerite's whereabouts. All she cared about was getting the album back to its owners. After waiting for a while, the audience got an update from Megan, and it was a big one. She posted, I'm pretty sure I'm going to find her, if not her family, she wrote. I have a lead that she's two towns north of where we are now. I'd like to return it, and maybe hear a little bit about her wedding day if she's willing to talk about it. As reported by some sources, the bride was still alive and residing in Florida. Megan couldn't wait to follow this major lead she had gotten and decided to visit Marguerite right away. Unfortunately, luck wasn't on her side, as it was revealed Marguerite had moved somewhere away leaving no trace of her relocation behind. On just another evening, Megan was scrolling through the internet finding clues as usual, until she came across a source that gave her some seriously useful information about Marguerite's current status. It was the name of the city where Marguerite was currently residing in. To avoid getting distraught, Megan assumed that this information is true. It was apparent that the bride is alive, so Margaret vowed to return the wedding album to her. Marguerite's residence wasn't anywhere close, but that didn't bother Megan at this point. She packed her bags and set out on her journey. On the 8th of June, 2017, Megan revealed that she finally found Marguerite and even met the old lady. Apart from having a meeting with her, she returned the wedding album along with the alligator purse. With no mention of Joseph in the post, question marks were obviously raised. So Megan clarified, I would like to ask for privacy for Marguerite and her family now. She wants to keep her memories personal and enjoy them with her family. The meeting had finally taken place, but there were still many questions that needed to be answered, with the most obvious one being why the couple hid their wedding album in the first place. Well, there is a valid reason behind it, but the story is a bit saddening. Marguerite's husband passed away almost a decade after they got married. The cause of his death remains a mystery to this day, and her husband's passing had a deep impact on Marguerite. However, she eventually moved on and married once again after spending some years in grief. It's natural for people to move on from their deceased spouses, and such was the case with Marguerite. She wanted to bury her past and have a new beginning with another man. So that was the reason why she probably hid evidence of her first marriage. She just didn't prefer her second husband to have knowledge about her previous marriage. It is also possible that Marguerite hid the wedding album to stop herself from dwelling in the past and move on from the incident permanently. Those memories were too beloved to her to throw away, so she put them out of her own reach, in the kitchen ceiling. Marguerite's life had Joseph in it no more, but this didn't mean she had forgotten him. At the same time, life doesn't wait for anyone and carries on. Now that Megan gave Marguerite the wedding album, the old woman didn't know how to react. It was a blast from the past for her. Megan didn't feel at ease while returning the wedding album to its owner. She did it in the hopes of making Marguerite happy, which she did, but she also didn't want the old lady to be reminded of her saddening past. Nevertheless, Marguerite was surprised by Megan's dedication. The story wrapped up with the meeting between Marguerite and the Florida couple.